Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pixel and welcome to the Sapphire Tech YouTube channel. Recently, I was asked to check out the 2019 version of the AMD Adrenaline software and to give you guys my opinion. To be honest, I have always considered myself to be somewhat of a simple or maybe even a lazy gamer. So unless something goes wrong, I very rarely even bother checking out what's new. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know how to overclock my graphics cards, how to toggle on the features that really matter to me and I do keep my drivers up to date. But in reality, I am very much a set it and forget it kind of person because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. What this really means is I had almost completely lost track of all the cool updates that the AMD Adrenaline software has been getting over the past couple of years. And wow, I wish I had been paying more attention. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you guys have been keeping up to date, but for those of you like myself, I am going to go over some of the awesome features that we now have at our fingertips via the AMD Adrenaline app, the Radeon overlay and even AMD Link. Before we get started though, I want to quickly go over AMD Link, as this is one of the newer additions that I think a lot of people really don't have too much experience with. So what is it? Well, AMD Link is an app that you can download for your Android and iOS devices that syncs up with the AMD Adrenaline app on your computer, so you can control many of the features remotely. I found this super handy for checking my performance quickly without interrupting my game and even using it to stop and start video recordings, but really that's just scratching the surface of what this app can do and you will see that later in this video. So anyway, what can this software actually do? To start off with, let's take a look at the advisors. Now I am willing to admit that what I'm about to show you is certainly not the most exciting feature out there, but it can be incredibly useful if you find yourself running into issues with some of your games. By going to the gaming tab in the Adrenaline app and then scanning for games, you will be greeted by most of the games that you have installed on your system, and many of them with either a green, amber, or red dot next to them. Red dots mean that you fall below the game's minimum requirements. Amber means that you are above the minimum, but you're still below the recommended, and green means that you should be sorted with a GPU and CPU that exceeds the recommended requirements. By clicking on over to the upgrade advisor, you get mostly the same information that we've just seen on the game explorer section, but with the ability to see how other CPUs and GPUs stack up against the requirements. And as the name suggests, the software will also advise you on what you will likely want to upgrade in your system and which parts will do the job. The last advisor is by far the coolest though. While in game, you have access to the game advisor via the Radeon overlay. By allowing it to monitor your performance for a short period of time, the advisor is able to give you some recommendations on how to improve your experience, such as what settings to turn down if your FPS is struggling, or even what settings to bump up if you are playing with lots of performance headroom. While this may seem simple to some of you, the inclusion of a nice little frame time graph also allows you to see the consistency of the frame pacing. While there is plenty of software out there that allows you to do this, having it right there at all times makes things so much easier. Now, moving on, let's have a gander at Relive. Fun fact for you all, I have actually been calling it Relive until I started making this video and did some research, so oops, I guess. But anyway, Relive is AMD's solution to desktop and game capture. With it, you can record videos, take screenshots, make GIFs, live stream, and as you will see later, you can even game stream to a secondary device. Personally, I have been recording videos for many years using either third-party programs or capture cards. So I was not really keeping up with the improvements that Relive has been seeing over the past couple of years, and it actually surprises me just how far along this software has come. The Doom gameplay you are watching right now was recorded using Relive at 1080p, and yeah, as you can see, the quality is on point, by far in excess of what you would need to make good-looking content for YouTube. What's even better is just how easy it is to use. You can do your initial setup over on the Adrenaline software, select which features you would like to activate, choose the quality in terms of resolution and bitrate, modify your hotkeys, and even set up multiple audio channels so you can separate the mic from the game audio, which is very important for people that like to edit their content. Once you're set up, actually capturing your footage is a breeze thanks to both the Radeon Overlay and the AMD Link app. On the Radeon Overlay, you can start and stop recordings, save an instant replay, an in-game replay, screenshot or GIF, as well as start live streaming. On the AMD Link app, you can pretty much do the same things, but you've got the added benefit of being able to review what you have saved and even edit the instant replay duration. The final feature I want to point out is the in-game replay, which can be accessed via the overlay. This allows you to play back up to the last 30 seconds of gameplay right there from the overlay, which might not work for everybody, but I do think that live streamers could make great use of this while live. I, I think it's pretty cool, right? Next up, I want to talk about Wattman and the performance monitor. 
Within the global settings section of the gaming tab on the Adrenaline software, you gain access to Wattman, which is AMD's own overclocking utility. Here, you are able to tweak your GPU's frequencies, voltages, power limit, and more. Also, if your graphics card is an RX Vega or above, you will also have some presets at your disposal, including auto undervolting and auto overclocking. Each game you play can each have their own profile, so you don't have to have your hardware running flat out when the extra power is simply not needed, giving you some nice power savings and maybe even making your graphics card even quieter in the process. But wait, there's more. These powerful overclocking features, you once again have access to them from both the Radeon overlay and over on the AMD Link app, meaning that you are able to tweak these settings without leaving your game. This is so useful for testing out your overclocks in a live environment. Oh, the performance overlay is also something you can edit and enable from within the Radeon overlay as well. You've got a lot of freedom here. You can make it bigger or smaller, change its position, choose what you want to display on it, play with the colors and more. Personally, I just like to leave up my GPU usage and my CPU usage and even my frame rate while playing, and this allows me to do that easily. While you don't get to edit the performance overlay from the AMD Link app, you do still get access to all these metrics directly from your device, so once again, Link has got you covered. One of the coolest new features has got to be game streaming to both VR devices and AMD Link. For example, using your home network, you are able to play games on your phone or tablet using either the on-screen controls or attaching something along the lines of a Bluetooth controller. From my own testing, latency was really quite low. Now, not low to the point where you would want to play any really competitive games over it, but it was low enough for most of what I did play, especially single player games. The visual quality was also very good, especially at higher bit rates. I found the games to be very playable and providing that you can sync up your device to a TV, this would allow you to play games from your computer on a screen in your living room for instance. And it is very easy to set up which is also a very nice added bonus. And that's still not all. Radeon Chill is a feature that can be controlled via the Radeon overlay and when it's enabled it will dynamically cap your frame rate when very little is happening on screen in order to try and help you reduce your power usage. Personally, I have not tried this while playing any competitive games, but to be honest, in the games that I did test it with, I had absolutely zero issues whatsoever, so it may in fact be fine for competitive games. AMD say that they have tested it with a lot of games and with no issues so far, so either way, being able to toggle it on and off so easy means that there really is no downside, so I would definitely recommend that you do give this a try. Then you have the frame rate target control setting that allows you to manually set a frame rate cap that can help keep things nice and smooth and even save you some power. You also get to toggle the enhanced sync directly from the overlay which should prevent screen tearing when your FPS is above that of your screen's maximum refresh rate. And you can also toggle on free sync if you've got a compatible display hooked up. Oh, and you have the color calibration tool that allows you to play with the brightness, hue, contrast, saturation, and color temperature. This is so good for those games that are either a little bit too dark or maybe even washed out. And you can even make these changes to each monitor separately. Personally, I like a strong contrast in my single player games, so this is a very easy way to make those changes on the fly. Straight up, color me impressed. I actually kind of feel silly right now that I've been neglecting these features for so long to be honest, but now that I've been playing around with them a little bit, I already know for certain that I am going to be using quite a few of these features as part of my day to day tool set. But anyway, I think that is going to be me once again done for today. If you are new around here, please do consider slapping that subscribe button. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section below this video. Also, if you are on Instagram, why not give us a follow over there as well? We recently set up our own official account and you can find that at Sapphire Tech underscore official. With that said, thank you so much for watching from myself and everybody here at Sapphire. I have been Pixel and I will hopefully catch you again very soon. So until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye bye.